All right, welcome back. Um, so, all right, we're continuing our exploration of the new update. Uh, we have a new weapon that I probably should have sh uh, shown more training stuff for it, but um, so it's a aspect of Rama for the bow. Um, so you have Celestial Shangra, uh, which causes shared suffering. So uh, if you hit something with your special, right, any attack, any attack you hit a foe with deals damage to all of the marked enemies for seven seconds. I think that's what that says, right? Um, yeah, when you attack any foe, yeah. So any foe, I guess maybe even not the marked ones. Um, so you've got this, these arrows here that uh, kind of fling out and bounce around, a little uh, chain on different enemies. Uh, you have a wider attack. Look at this big wave you shoot. And then your dash attack is this tiny little bump. Except that it, uh, yeah, it's a little, little weird. Uh, so you still have to charge it. Looks like. So uh, I'm going to consider this n does not have a dash attack um, when I'm playing through this thing. Um, uh, but yeah, here we go. Goal is to get to the surface, of course. Um, okay, so Crystal Beam, uh, has an, a new boon that, uh, upgrades it. Uh, special and stronger and does chill. I mean, that could be good. Uh, let's go with, let's just go with Frost Flourish. So, auto-aim, right? Uh, still, it hits all your special bullets hit the same target, so if we get the hammer where you get more special arrows, that could be really useful. Right, and we hit this thing like three times with our, our chill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. It's gonna take a little bit of learning, I think, to get used to this uh, this weapon. So it seems to like arc in kind of a short range, or to chain in a short range. But you can kind of fire at the wall, and it will uh, bounce and hit things. It's interesting. I like with auto aim, I can't even like point at the wall if there are enemies nearby. <laughs> Really slow uh, wave to charge up. Whenever I encounter you, Uncle Poseidon, my spirits lift, and I feel there must not be anything that can stop me. I only wish we met sooner, though I am grateful to have met you at all. I thought I told you, nephew, not to make such offerings to me. I probably forgot. Or getting you mixed up, perhaps, for I have many other nephews, thanks to Zeus. Though between us, I don't like any one of them as much as you. <laughs> Thanks, Poseidon. Cool uncle. Cool also massages uncle. You know, I've many vitally important things to do besides lending my aid to you repeatedly, nephew. But all of that can wait. Family comes first. Uh, Alright, so Poseidon's aid. Um, that might be fine. Uh, do I want to reroll any of these? I might. Like, these are both really sweet abilities, um, but I don't like commons. Let's just try it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what else. Uh, basically the same. Okay, we'll take it. It's high tide. Like, uh, Poseidon's Calls is okay. It's I, I'm not sure it's, like, one of my favorites, um, but it is at least reasonable. Um, I think the tricky part with this is I've had some bad experiences where I take a bunch of free damage um, when it ends too early. Um, but it's like an easy 300 damage attack, so that's not so bad. Honestly, I just fire my special repeatedly to take on these lower hit point mobs. New hammer. That could be really good.
Okay. Uh, three shots in a pattern. That might be interesting. Uh, more damage to distant foes. I'm not super excited considering how long it takes to charge this uh, primary attack up. And your power shot deals more damage. That's cool, except that I feel like hitting the power shot on this is a little difficult. Um, boy, howdy, that's a long spread. I was kind of expecting that to be tighter. Alright, well, whatever. Um... You know, I could have rerolled those those boon options, I think, with my uh, Fade Persuasion. Probably should have done that, actually. Uh, all right, Palm. Or hit that sword. Oh, oh, there it is. Here I come. Where do you think you're going? You can't touch me, you wretches. Yeah, those stones are pretty scary. No, 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 the special, the shared damage is doing that much. Ooh, don't get hit by the beam. Dodge out of the way, thankfully. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I do actually... Oh, did I get... That's too bad. I didn't even see that stone uh, spawn in. That's too bad. Never stand still, I guess. Yep, it's an onion. Hope no one saw that. That's too bad. Um, Anvil of Fates. And then I think, what was it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Red Onion. <laughs> yep. A foul root best known for bitterness or for unprompted issuance of tears. I can't tell. Is this an option I can pick? It's behind the flame. Um, I'd probably pick Athena anyway. Yeah, that's really too bad to get hit by a random laser. Um, Let's go, lads. Yeah. Be nice to be pointing in the right direction there. So, okay, I guess like... I can hit this guy with a special, and then I can do that. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. The neat thing is I can deal damage to like some enemies without being anywhere near them. As long as like, I guess I have to be close enough to get the nice special off on them, but... Um... Is there's some situations like in that fight there where I was able to do some damage to the other guy even though I was nowhere near it. Um, it's really hard for me to get behind this, this long charge then. As I remain committed to my task, goddess, I'm reminded none of this would have been possible without your aid, and so I must give thanks, even if through a meager offering. I know there isn't much that you can do to show your gratitude at present, Zagreus. But I would ask that you save it for when your task is complete. You have more important matters to attend to now. The fighting cold surrounding you must mean the Goddess of Seasons decided to take an interest in your struggle, Zagreus. I did not count on Demeter being a part of this. Take heart, though use discretion around her. The goods. Mmm, so... Pretty alright cast. Um... The dash is really nice, and then we have uh, start encounters with God Gageful. Um, so dash, I think we're gonna take the dash there. I was thinking about what would I would, um, what would I do if the attack option appeared? I probably wouldn't have taken the attack option. Um, the special seems alright though, although I already have the uh, frost special, so it wouldn't have been an option. It would have to be a replacement. Like the only damage I've taken so far is that one beam in Erebus. <laughs> it's a bummer. Zeus would be really strong with this uh, special, considering that you get like three hits off the the um, 
like three really fast hits. It's almost like a main attack, really. And like specials have a really high damage output. Uh, Zeus, in, in specific, has a pretty high added damage um, for uh, a percentage damage increase, right? Like you get usually more than some percentages, um, and especially in cases like this where you're doing like 12 damage a shot, right? 11 damage a shot, right? You're gonna do like an extra 70 damage on each one of these special hits. I mean, imagine it's on each one, but I don't really know. Uh, we found out that um, Zeus's shield uh, only counts as one special hit uh, for some boons, which might be a bug, actually. But, um, like, for instance, Artemis's uh, free arrows or whatever, um, she... Uh, uh, she uh, only does one arrow uh, per impact with the shield. Wow, this is slow. Honestly, I don't know why I triggered it. I was just going to gain three hit points back. Cheers. Oh. Plus a nectar, I guess. I'll take it. Um. I'll go this way. Don't need to heal off the darkness, so I'll take a more impactful reward. I guess I'll take some free damage, though. Good thing we did that Trove Trial for the three hit points back. <laughs> I was really surprised I didn't hit that rock there, actually. Okay, so if I hit this guy with a blood crystal, I don't know if the uh, shared damage is actually working correctly. Um, so we'll test this a little bit more. Let's see, what does this actually say? Yeah, I'd actually like to go back down to my boons, thanks. Okay, um, so the shared suffering text here says when you attack any foe, any foe, right, share damage, and so it's only attack, Right, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, if I could speed this up somehow, that would be uh, muy bueno. Maybe it's like a one of the hammers. I think does like a rapid attack for the main attack. All right. So I just hit those guys. Uh, there's some damage on these pots. Okay, it, so you really can hit any foe there. I was hitting some random skulls and getting uh, hits on mark targets regardless. But it is still your attack. It does not cast. It does not additional specials, which makes sense. If you just chain special to special, I guess that makes sense. Uh, or that'd be too strong, maybe. So like, the there's the other bow variant. I can't remember the name of right now. Um, we're taking on the special. Um, so another, so another variant of the bow um, where you have all of your, I think it's the Artemis bow maybe, um, where you shoot an enemy with a main attack and you mark them, and then you fire your special and all your special arrows fly towards your target. Um, it's remarkably similar to the way this bow functions. I feel like, um, yeah, low weak re result there. Um, so, like, the big difference is that you do special first, then you do um, your main attack, I guess, right? Um, so, like, what are the big benefits and drawbacks of both? So, I think with the other bow, you get more special hits for things like his, uh, Zeus. Um, but, I mean, with this, like, you get the, um, the chain ability for free, uh, which is pretty neat if you've got something like Zeus on it. Um, or Ares. Ares would be actually a good boon here too. Um, but you still have to use this. You, in either case, you both have you have to use the main attack. But this one's a lot slower. I'm not sure that the big bullet is very impactful. I don't know if like with the save the auto aim in the game. I don't know how many additional targets you're gonna hit by the wider um, projectile. Um, I don't know. It's interesting at least. I feel like that the uh, the attack does more damage too. Well, maybe not, actually. 
Maybe a bit more? It takes a long time to charge the full uh, power shot there. And you, it's a pretty small window, too. Um, it's exceptionally small if... Uh, you do everything by ear. Yeah, I know. Um, I think when we get to this bow to the surface, I i don't know how much I'm going to play with it in the future. Especially considering how expensive it is to, to boost up. Maybe I'll find a, a hammer boon, though, that uh, juices this up in some way that uh, I'm not thinking of at the current. <laughs> nice. I guess she hasn't actually gotten the wheel of this bow. Um, Alright, so cast. We're going to reroll all these because none of them have any rarity. Um, replace Divine Strike. Now, uh, True Shot cast. I think that's what we're going to take here. Um, pressure points is alright. I actually would like that on this, but. um, Because uh, of the shared damage feature, but I think that's too low to, to care about. Just gonna go with the flow. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. Finally. Hey, Redblood. I've done a lot of thinking, and I've come to the conclusion that I want you never to speak to me again. Ever. Got that? That's too bad. Um, I don't know how to respond to what you said without directly disobeying your request, Electo, but for future reference, fine. I'll bite. You'll die. There's no use standing here flapping our guns when we could cut to killing one another right away. Come on. Poor Electo. Ow. <laughs> Maybe just not stand there. Back up, back up. Got hit by that pretty hard. Do I do additional damage to the target I've marked? It looks like I'm actually doing shared damage to itself. Ow. To Electo. Uh, so, like, maybe... If, uh, also, I should be reflecting all these attacks instead of trying to... Um, do anything else there. That was a miss. So maybe the bow is actually a bit more valuable if it like is willing to uh, share damage with the target you hit. Ouch. Maybe a little too close there on the dashing. Like these big spinning targets back here. Yeah. That was actually fairly easy. I just uh, ended up taking more damage than I was hoping to because uh, I got too close. <laughs> I was trying to get too fancy. So. Wasn't particularly a challenging fight. What are we going to switch to? Um, oh, well, that's different. Uh, okay. So, your attack, your special, and your cast deal more damage when not empowered by boons. That's interesting. Um, and it seems like you can rank that up pretty hard. Um, yeah. Sure. We'll level this up. Okay. 
Get more damage with our main attack. Mm, no. So, the shackle, all right, I could hypothetically equip the shackle from the beginning, and then I have all that free damage bonus, and then I, as I boost things up, um, like say, when I get here to Asphodel, um, I could swap it out for the wallet. That's interesting. I don't really have a particularly hard time in the first area, though, so, like... It's interesting. I wonder where, how, how far the damage is going to go up. I can't use that. Um, like, it could be... Depending on how much extra damage you get, it might be relevant to keep no boons uh, without the trinket. Um, which would be a bad state. Like, you probably want boons for at least some of your abilities, right? But, like, if you can have, if you use your main attack and get more damage on your main attack than, um, uh, than using any god boon, then, like, that wouldn't be ideal either. option here. Yeah. No, oh, drove. That's nice. One big advantage of chill, right? Slowing enemies down. not paying attention. Um, hmm. Still developing feels. Like, it's pretty effective there to share damage on those guys. Ooh, there's a, a Trial of Gods. That's pretty good. Probably not take the Chaos um, Gate here. So I guess a big advantage of um, the shared damage is that, like, when I uh, mark multiple targets and then I can just fire a bow uh, shot through multiple targets, then they're all sharing damage with each other. Um, so that's not bad. Dimeter. Try again for higher rarity. Um, we're gonna take Ocean's Bounty. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna stay away from her uh, big frost zones. Which we have a lot of territory to, to run around in. Just a big reason why I would be okay with upsetting uh, Demeter here.
Don't forget our cast ability. Ow. <laughs> Stupid Magma. Oh, back away, back away. So if I think about um, this bow as really being like having a static 30% extra damage on uh, attack, uh, that ends up being a lot better than I was initially talking about. I am quite capable of making your life plenty difficult. You do now realize, young Zagreus. Uh, right, Frostrike Chill. Don't think I want that. Killing Freeze seems pretty strong here with our uh, enchant ability. Oh man, God Boon's a plenty. It's funny, like, I can choose between the two of these again, right? Um, oh, I guess I got Poseidon the first go around, though. Man, what do I want? Um, so, we haven't gotten a legendary for um, Athena or for um, Artemis yet. Uh, there's new boons for, or actually, our Demeter. So really, sky's the limit. What would be best empirically for our build? Not empirically. That's not. That's inappropriate. Um, all right. So if I go into Athena, then I can get options like uh, taking less damage from traps, uh, deflecting bullets from more. Uh, maybe, maybe get the uh, shield from her. That would be nice. If I go into Artemis, I can amp up the critical hits I'm doing with a true shot. Maybe get some more critical damage down the line. Um, but we already have like two main abilities that are already on chill. Like so, for instance, we got frost, frost flourish. We're using the most, right? And we have um, uh, we have killing freeze now, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I think what we want to do is maybe go deeper into Demeter, because um, we have like some strong ways of applying chill as it is. Like getting uh, the ten stack chill removal would be pretty nice. Oh gosh. Ow, ow, ow. Maybe. Be a bit more mindful the way I'm deflecting here. Also, it seems like the Athena's Deflect Dash ability has got a much shorter range than these two. Maybe just me, though. No, it's a neat fight, for the most part. In the name of Hades. If I didn't have a range uh, attack um, for that fight, I would probably be quite annoyed. Alright, we can take Arctic Blast. Desolation. Uh, the attack option, still don't want the attack option, and uh, the middle thing was, I think... I can't remember what it was, but I think it was the Revenge? Um, not not worth it. Yeah. What we were really looking for was the stack clear anyway. Oh, examine. The act of sorcery often ends in an untimely death and an eternity in Tartarus for careless souls. Though some are able to perfect the trade and continue even here. Hmm. I'm sure the witch's circle will reconvene soon enough. I should probably be more mindful for uh, for little things I can interact with like that. Ooh. Dragons. Oh, new enemy. More or less a teleporting uh, tiny hydra head. Just neat. It's not. Not super different compared to the witch, um, except that uh, I mean it's it's, it's different enough. Um, it's a nice setup for the Hydra, though. That before, and I'll say it again that this bow has got a slow attack speed. Um, 
Oh, good question. What do I want here? I'll probably take this. I have a hard time picking between coins and um, the center heart when you're taking them this early. Um, I guess, like, so the big advantage of taking the centaur heart is, is that you get more healing from foundings, um, because you have a higher hit point total. And if you do, forever, for whatever reason, lose a, um, uh, one of your death defiance chances. Okay, yeah, these, uh, epic ones are a little bit more exciting. Nice try. Yeah, so if you lose Death Defiance um, early in the run, uh, you get, you know, 12 more hit points when you come back, so... Or at least 10. I, it's, I don't know if it's 50% um, of your health back. I think it is? I can answer that real quick, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, half, yeah, 50%. So, um, yeah, you definitely get, like, a lot more than just 25 health over the course of the run from that thing. Thank you. It's like the center heart um, represents, you know, more damage, right? Um, which is usually the big, the, like the best way of ending a fight sooner, and because when you're doing fights back to back and attritionally, like this is kind of like the old RPG issue of like uh, armor versus attack. Um. What do I want here? I think I probably just want the tree shot. What new Hydra variant will we get today? Well, that one's purple. May I say you look lovely this day or night, Lenny? <laughs> Alright, so it's got a big wave attack. Back it up, back it up. Just keep adding stacks. Uh, only partially deflected that. Ow. Definitely did not avoid that. Right into the face. It's interesting that the heads now shoot the uh, range attack that Lerny would have fought or shot um, from its center. So it's like they trade their range attacks. I think we're trying to charge our god gauge up to maximum here. Turns out we're just going to use it right now. So we can take out a couple more Hydra heads. Once we get through this section of the fight, uh, we're pretty much in easy territory. I don't know. Easy street? We're on Sleepy Street.
You know, I don't think I've any, seen any fish points so far. Uh, I should be careful and make sure I'm not leaving them behind. Alright, that's going to take considerably more time to level up. Uh, treasure trove? That seems more expensive than it used to be. Uh, random item? Prometheus stone. More cast. Okay. So, I know that there are new options in the, um, uh, the Wellcarn where you can buy, uh, god wounds for cheaper, but randomly. And also, like, random hammers. Um, part of the reason why I'm trying to buy the random purchase, because, like, maybe I'll luck into something bigger. Um... And, you know, 45 is a big discount for, um, you know, some of those larger effects. But I don't know if it's actually that worth it. I keep getting random things that I'm not super excited for. I mean, I guess that, it, like, it's nice that, hey, I've got them and it lasts a long time. Uh, it seems like it's got, like, double duration. Um, so it, like, makes the fight, like, a little bit easier for the next six rooms. I don't know. I'm a little uh, undecided on whether or not I want to keep buying that one. Arrows hit from a mile away. God's grant me strength. Uh, more special. Power. All right, more darkness. Scan the room a little bit. If you find fishing points in some of these little pools here, that they can be really hard to see. Now prove yourselves. Charging up stacks here. Deal some AoE damage that way. I, expected more. I definitely should use my cast more there. It's easy to lose track of all your abilities. Palm again. Ow. Palms in the special at this point. I'm getting this diminishing return is pretty hard. Let's go to Poseidon's Aid. Uh, there's supposed to be a new boon for Poseidon's Aid that sucks enemies into it, which sounds kind of nice. I'll take that. There we go. Your special deals more damage. It's interesting. I wonder if they just increase the duration of all these abilities just by default. Again, pom 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 away. Maybe I should have taken the shop and try to fight Karen. That's the thing apparently you can do now. I 
to try to bounce that ability. There we go. <laughs> Just like toast these ranged casters. Start off with 150 and we got 61. Not exciting. Especially it took a bunch of damage during my fight too, so call that one a loss. Um, let's see. Gemstones it is. So it seems like as time goes on, we really can't rely on the, um, the special. Like, it does enough damage early on, but you really seem to need to focus on a higher damage ability um, as time continues. I mean, if I had, like, Zeus on my special, I probably would be in Sleazy Street right now, but it's interesting. I mean, I guess, like, the bow was already one of those high damage attacks, like in terms of like the slow heavy weapons, and this is just the slowest, heaviest version of that ability. So, I mean, it's nice to have like a, a whoop. nice to have a hefty damage weapon in the bow category, so that you can. Uh, do all of those cool things like with Artemis's aid, um, and Artemis aid. But Artemis's attack, or like for instance the Aphrodite attack, like some of those really high damage percentage abilities, you really want to have. Um, uh, you really want to have the attack on that one. If I pause momentarily in a sentence, it's because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Right, Demeter or Hermes. Well, that's tough, because I think that if I keep taking Demeter Boons, eventually I'm going to get somewhere sweet. Um, but I kind of... I know I'm going to have to fight the Minotaur if I go in that room. And I don't have any Hermes Boons yet. Uh, special Faster would be a good one. Let's do this anyway. Let's go all in. Ow. It's like, sure, like, would like to hit anything with my side and call. I'm gonna keep focusing on the orb, or uh, this fight will last forever. It's interesting that shared damage didn't seem to prevent that shade from respawning. lose track of what you're actually fighting when you're trying to chase down some random shade. 
It's okay to just let enemies walk away, be far away from the rest of the combat. Not the rest of the combat, but, you know. It's okay to let a target you're harping on uh, go, because then you let stuff like that happen. I wish they would just stop firing multiple arrows once they don't have any armor on them. It's really hard to see that they're actually elite. Uh huh. That was not a good fight. So after you take damage, uh, damage and completely chill your foe, well, it's a faded choice, so take it. Uh, I could talk more about those other options, but um, I have learned that if you have a faded choice in front of you, you just take it regardless of what you're doing. Yeah, it's interesting that the all the traps, all the spear traps trigger now. Okay, I forgot that I actually have um, like chill uh, or the uh, the hunt ravenous thing where they take decay damage. Uh, I really should be using the special more often. I guess I already am, but I should be thinking about the fact that I should be chilling all the enemies in the room. get hit by my projectiles. Alright, not doing super hot in the health department. Stand there and take it. Uh, so not really looking at my uh, combat anymore. I'll, I sometimes, will, like I just said, like I'll get focused on a different thing on the screen and then uh, start ignoring targets. Um, it's not good in fights with spear guys or bow guys. Please shoot those shades before they come back alive. Please ignore all the others in the room. <laughs> okay. Auto aim is being a little fussy. Well, now that I'm actually at a low health total, I will buy this just because um, I want to keep myself from losing a like second chance here. So, more backstab damage. Okay, there's like several ways to, re to regain health, um, and so I kind of felt like picking one at random was it's more useful if you're gonna have more opportunities to get something you actually want out of it. Um, so I think there would be like what three or four different health options that I could have randomly locked into. Um, Never mind the random god boons and stuff. Alright, we're going to upset Demeter again. Uh, I think I should take the Holy Strike here. Definitely don't want to hit my stash. Alright, let's take the Strike. I'll turn off our Broken Shackle, but... Um, It'll be better in the long run. Yeah, 
Yeah, I keep forgetting to call Skelly. I guess I could hear, but I'm not feeling super pressured just yet. This is going to take me forever, though, to ping my way through this. It's bouncing around, but it's most of these the shots are being blocked from the front. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Definite mistake there. Alright, Skelly, come in. I should have called you earlier. Sorry. Sorry to Skelly. You were right, Skelly. You're always right. Ow. 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 <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I guess if I stand like right next to something, I can hit something with all three of my uh, my waves here. But don't get too close. Don't forget what you're doing there, John. Ow. See, that's the downside to Poseidon's calls. This wave can end in the middle of an attack. Um, and then you just take free damage. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, Demeter. Demeter, please. Yeah, please target the guy who I need to kill before he comes back up. Uh, trapped. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. Some of these elites, uh, elite shields have some pretty gnarly attacks if you're anywhere near them. Like, they can hit you, like, multiple times like they just did. Uh, as you can see. Longest fight in Hades goes to this encounter. Honestly, might heal if that's an option. That's fishing spot. Perhaps a few more winter seasons such as that, and I teach you more of how this world works. Yeah, he beat the crap out of me, so fair shot. Woo! Chill affected foes shatter ten percent and flick chill nearby. Well, we're taking it because we uh, d have never taken it before. Fishing. Fishing. Come on, fish. Looks like a clam. Looks like a clam. Uh, I think that was the weak result. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it flies, it's chapter 10%. So, like, we just kill things a little tiny bit early, and it's mostly like when things die now, it's like do AoE damage. So that's cool. Alright, so your attack bounces. Chain Shot is one of the best boons here. Also, that's a boon that's completely unique to this weapon, so that's interesting. Uh, your Celestial Shangri attack creates a blast wave around you. Uh, knocks away foes and destroys most projectiles. I want to pick this one, but Chain Shot with a three uh, wave attack is really neat. Um, because those waves that we keep shooting are gonna, if they hit any projectile or any barrier, they're just gonna bounce and hit nearby enemies. Um, definitely do not want explosive shot. I don't want to have a even slower attack. I mean, maybe it'll be the best attack, but I feel like that might ruin it. Um, 
Yeah, okay. We're going to do the Celestial uh, Special. Quite the bow. Oh, that's nice. Nice little circle there. Doesn't seem to care how uh, much I charge it up, too, so that's nice. Alright, well, let's go in here and lose another Death Defiance chance, it looks like. Gosh, I wonder if I can freeze these guys to death at 10%. Also, sorry for talking over. Your strategy might work a little better if you didn't shout it loud enough for me to hear. Though I have to say, I'm impressed you can drive, fight, and shout all at the same time. And I, fiend, am impressed that you yet live and breathe. temporary state of stereos and I shall soon alleviate. To war! Theseus, finding new ways to be the, you know... <laughs> worst best character in the game. It's like love to hate him more than anyone else. Yeah, Skelly. Come on, Skelly. Let's do the thing. So the thing I mostly try to do in this fight is take out Theseus first now, because um, he has a lower health to pull, a lower health pool, and him running around, you can get all sorts of free hits on you. Of course, Skelly really helps tie down the Minotaur to the other side of the room for quite a while. Just like dash right through you. Good opportunity to save up those abilities to counter attacks like that. Oop. Away. That was close. Yeah, how about some more decay for both of you? Oof. <laughs> that was not good. All right, there we go. Ow. Free 10 damage. already. That's unfortunate. Ow. Ow. Yep, called it. Oof. That, uh, that bendy attack there jumps and slams and drum then drops, like, <laughs> multiple waves. Like, good luck dashing. Also, yeah, I should have taken 10 damage from that attack call there, rather than taking, like, 30. Ooh, he did shatter. Nice. Fan of trying to get him to run into the pillar there. Oh, whacked again. Right through it.
Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's like, what happened? Man, while I dig not having to um, fight bosses is quite so hard. It's like 10% off of every boss with a slipping me. Well, we're going to be buying some more Death Defiance. Uh, boy, howdy. Uh, let's just equip Lucky Tooth here. Yep, definitely buy that. Uh, so we at most we'll get one chamber's worth of money, um, which could be like two hundred. So that's really like we're sacrificing a hundred gold if that occurs. Um, if we're not, it's more than hundred gold because fifty-five percent. Um, but um, if we get a hundred, we're gonna get fifty-five more gold, uh, which is less than the eighty. Uh, so, we won't be getting any darkness chamber rewards, so, okay, it's a math problem. So, 110 gold, if we get the, the rare, uh, outcome, versus the 55, uh, so, that means we get an average of, oh, shoot, well, it'll be a lot easier for 150. So, okay, so, half of 110 is 55, right? Okay, so then we get... Half of that, again, added to... Actually, it's less than half, because there's only two uh, rare or difficult fights in that room. So we'll call that, like, 40. So add uh, so half of 40 is 20 on top of the 55, so it's 75. Um, so that means that if we keep this, we are have an EV value of, like, five less gold than just selling it right now. So that's a thing. Um, however... This is probably the bigger issue. Uh, okay, we already have a Poseidon. If it was the only Poseidon buff, it would be definitely keep it because then we like, um, uh, because we would lose our damage bonus from the uh, family favorite. Uh, that is a total bug right there. By the way, I should probably report that uh, that each rank gives you two point five. It's actually ranked up to five percent. You can see it in the five percent there. Um, someone's probably already reported that, but. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to sell Ocean's Bounty. We might end up with, like, 25 less gold. And if we do, that's a bummer. But, you know, it won't be the end of the world. I think overall it's the right move to sell that. Um, out of, like, you know, a possible 100 games or whatever. Of course, if we had a higher ranked version of that ability, uh, well, the numbers would all be different. So, like, we'd sell for more, and we'd potentially have higher EV. The fishing point. Which one first? Looks like we made the right choice there. We uh, made more money by selling it than keeping it. Exciting content. Yeah, it was too slow. Just a gap. It's really hard to hit the, the good chance there. Something I can use. Good old Karen. Um, Chiron. Not Karen. Karen are people who have like too much privilege and too much money. They're like, how dare you write my name wrong on my Starbucks cup? How dare you insinuate that I am doing something that puts others in harm's way by refusing to wear my mask to my Starbucks. Yeah. By the way, you know, if you're listening to this and you're not wearing a mask and you're going out to public places, given that we're still under the COVID crisis, it is not over, um, you should probably reconsider, considering that you are legitimately uh, down the line harming someone somewhere, either by potentially giving them permanent lung damage, um, a, you know, a potential stroke, you know, they could just die. That's another thing, right? So that's like, just please reconsider. Please think of something, you know. Please think of the ramifications for your family, for the families of people you don't know. And soapbox. This knockback ability from the hammer boon doesn't do a lot of damage.
Try to get some back steps on these guys, but then I realized that they're pots. Do they have backs? I guess the, um, the aura doesn't do much damage, but it can knock back in a big way. The shockwave. Whoop. We out. Smash. <laughs> Some nice move there. Uh, I hate snake stones. Really should have chosen that uh, chain shot, by the way. Um, I would be hitting with like a lot more of these uh, main attacks on the same target, uh, which would then feed into the damage uh, sharing. Ooh, that was a really bad spot to stand in. Well, as well as Karen, maybe we'll be buying some healing. Ooh, double duos. Uh, after you deflect, briefly gain 20% critical ch chance. Uh, that's gonna come up a fair amount. Or second shot. Second shot! Thanks, you two. It's always really good. Nail of Talos. Alright. So I think we're gonna be buying that Titan's Blood down there. Jump right into all the hardest fights. Take that rat. Get hit by those blades, those buzz saws. For you are rude. Ow. See, so rude that I rush right into you and take a bunch of free damage. That's your fault. Also, I am having a hard time dashing through this wall because it is a big wall. Go. Goodbye, all that health I just bought. <laughs> Please get bounced when I bounce you, Rat. tight in a spatial way rather than a good way. Ooh, gosh. Although it was pretty good, too. Because uh, I didn't take any damage. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I don't have to put up with that fight. I'll just tuck that away. What are we taking? Random assortment. That might actually be good because of the healing. Um... Slamming foes into barriers causes a wave water blast in the area. That might sync up with our bow's ability. Um, if it doesn't, then we've bought a, a buff for our call ability, which isn't very exciting. I am tempted to buy it because uh, we can do science. The ocean's fury. I would rather know then pick something that might just be better. Alright. Yonk. Going down this way. Try and find out here. I'm gonna aim the wrong direction. Well, <laughs> no lesson learned. <laughs> right. 
try and do that again here. Oh, well, I saw that. I saw some splashy time. Get closer. Don't make me get closer. Okay, yeah, so it does work. Well, that's nice. That's something at least. Definitely buy that. Yeah, like the um, wave splashy thing here. Uh, yeah, breaking wave is, I think, one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, it does so much damage. It has a, does AoE. Uh, in some circumstances, it can trigger itself. Um, like, well, not necessarily trigger itself, but like, I feel like the uh, breaking wave also knocks back. Um, and if that's true, then it can knock back other enemies, not necessarily the enemy itself, but um, it has a huge damage potential. Especially with like chain abilities. Like if we had Poseidon knockback on the special and then Breaking Wave, uh, that would be bananas. Uh, Breaking Wave does also work on Hades, um, but you can't knock around Hades quite as much as you can on other bosses. Um, or at least it's it's a very minute boss compared to most things. So like, sorry, not a my my <laughs> not a minute boss. It's a small knockback, so you have to actually get them like Hades right against the wall for it to work. It's usually why you want to pick the the boon where you get bonus damage against bosses with knockback attacks. Should I go fight some get out of here? Uh, because you get diminished results from knockbacks. In most situations. All right, so I don't have the Hermes boon, uh, so I would like that if I could get it. But we're running out of rooms to even fight in, so and we gotta keep our health up. We have to buy another um, death defiance if we can find one. Well, we don't have to, but you know, it's like one of the best things we can do, I think, to improve the run. Yeah, see there? Like, it knocked from one side into the other side. That's where I think that the wave can actually trigger itself multiple times in San Enemy. enemy. Um, ow. Why did I do that? That was terrible. Like, ran right into that rat and take 25 damage. And I never even used my special until the end of the room. Guess I'm just, like, knocked back happy. Not a huge fan of this fight. Oh yeah, don't forget I can summon multiple projectiles. Yeah, we're gonna summon Skelly here. Take some of the heat off. Ribbon. That was good. Good result. Oof. <laughs> Shatter. Smash. <laughs> right for the harvest. Got you, tiny vermin. Not great, but not bad. Enough of this place. Okay. Uh, we're taking the last one as well. Oof. Okay, 
Go in there with your bloodstones first. It's the right attitude. Okay. Alright. Life. Definitely life. Uh, attack up. Remind that. Um, higher boon rarity. So, we have at least one 150 object we can buy. Um, and then there's like, I think a centaur heart or a palm we can buy for like 125, I think. So if we buy this, then we're at 220. So I'm betting on whether or not I can get like 30 more gold in the next room. Let's do it. It's fine. I guess there's more than one room uh, to the end in here. Oh, you can just hold down the attack. How about that? <laughs> hmm, I've been manually pressing special this entire time. Ow, 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 ow. Additional owls. Breaking wave for sure. Okay, um... Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Okay, so it looks like the pawn was 100, and that means that our purchase ended up being okay. You have no def death defiance. Your heart, uh, hit points slowly recover. So every, so uh, you get eight points in eight seconds. So like, hmm. I mean that's something. And hey, it's a faded choice. So we're gonna take it regardless. Let's go, team. Always a pleasure, Caron. Uh, true shot. And then not fight you if I can help it. Joyfully, the Hound of Hell accepts another Sator Sack. Man, I bet they were all excited when they were like, Ooh, we can say Sator Sack. And it sounds nice. It rolls off the tongue. Sator Sack. I would, would accept another Sator Sack. I'm not trying to make fun of Logan Cunningham, by the way. Uh, he's great. I'm really glad he hooked up with Supergiant when he did at their, you know, outset. Here, Coronacht. May you serve Rama well, if you haven't already done so, I guess. The bow is the weapon of a coward, boy. I said so even to Hera's face. I'm unsurprised that you are drawn to it, and yet... Something has changed about it, I can tell. What, you mean that Coronacht has taken on the aspect of a divine preserver person of some sort, of whom I've seen mere glimpses, but seems definitely very capable and really rather brave? I know not why the old infernal arms endear themselves to you. And I entirely care not in whose weakling aspect you bring them forth, only to fall to me. Uh, Skelly, is it time for Skelly? Maybe not. 
That's right, keep trying to shoot those uh, skulls at me. I'll be fine with it. Man, ooh, ouch. That was too close. If uh, Demeter had a boon where you get to keep some stacks of chill um, after, like, chill is removed, um, that would be pretty intense. Or if you had, like, some sort of thing where it's, like, I guess it'd be a boon just for um, killing Frost or whatever. Um, which wouldn't be necessarily super green. But maybe it's like, ooh, ouch, when for chill wears off, you lose check, uh, stack slower instead. Uh, not feeling super solid on this run. Please die. Okay, thank you. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Hit me with your big skull. Head to flex, dodge through. Phase two. All right, we're in, we're in a good spot for phase two. Ouch. Ouch. With your own pots. Ow, 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 ow. Wow, it's really hard to avoid that attack from long range. Uh, please don't hit me. Behold, right? Oh my gosh. Well, I did that just for safety. <laughs> did not want you to hit me any of that. Uh, There's going to be a lot of explosions here. Oof. Oh, back up, back up. Behind the pillar, behind the pillar. Here we go. By the power of Skelly. <laughs> By the power of Skelly. <laughs> well, now we regenerate. Whew. You cannot escape. None of us can. Again. 
him. I, I feel like there's something he's not telling me. That's right. You get a ch. The ultimate. Like, F you to anyone in Hades. If you don't like somebody, just say ch at them. I actually like the ch. I'm not trying to make fun of it. Um. Yeah, sweet. So, what do we learn? Uh, we learn that the bow uh, is, uh, I think, needs a lot of work. So, like, not necessarily from the designers. It's not doesn't they, it's it's actually a, a fine place, I guess, uh, and it's got an interesting attack style at least. It's very different. Um, so to uh, to really succeed in this thing, the things we noticed were um, that we had a really low damage output for the longest part. Uh, it's probably because I was focusing on the special, which I'm really not supposed to be doing, I guess. Um, Especially not if I don't have Zeus, like, which really kind of overrides a lot of the special um, light attack things, right? Where, like, you get the shield spin with the shield of Zeus, or, like, um, multiple hits with uh, the uppercut on the special for the fists, stuff like that. Um, so your attack damage, or your attack modifier, is going to be the most, probably one of the more important things, but it's also really slow, right? I didn't feel like I could really charge it up a lot of times. I think that if I were... Um, if I had my attack were just that much stronger, I probably would have relied on it more. Um, but it's like, that's going to be a linchpin, I think. Um, shared Suffering is actually a lot better than I thought it would be, uh, considering it can share to its own target. Um, and then, I guess, like, we did a lot of really slow damage. This Repulse Shot was better than I... Th like, well, it, it did try combos with, with Poseidon, which makes it useful. Otherwise, I think I probably wouldn't have taken it. Um, and yeah, and uh, Winter Harvest is pretty sweet, so, yeah, go us. The favor doing Zagreus, then walks into a chamber, black as night, but with a blood-red pool, and from it comes a voice which says, Would you mind diving in these waters, Prince? To which the Prince replies, Oh, sure. Who are you? <laughs> Yeah, so, like, I don't think I'll ever, I think, I think I'll use the bow again at some point, or the Rama aspect at some point, um, to try and get a better understanding of it, but I think it's, uh, in terms of the bow options, I am more in favor of some of the other ones. I'm not actually a huge fan of the bow in general, so, like, um, it's, like, maybe just that I'm not a huge fan of its playstyle, so, uh, I don't know, uh, I recommend you give it a try and see what you think. Right, thanks for watching.